So, instead of having a grand party for my 15th birthday, I decided that I wanted to travel. First on the list was Rome, because of my love for Roman mythology, and I really, really love the Roman god Neptune. So, of course, it makes sense why I'd want to see the Fountain of Trevi, because it has his statue. Now, we're in a tour group, so we have to follow them around, and first we go to the Colosseum. Now, I was really excited to see the Colosseum, and when I looked at it, I was completely amazed, and I was craning my neck all the way back to just stare up at it. Even though my neck was cramping up, it didn't matter. I was really amazed. Even my parents had to be like, Leslie, Leslie, breathe, you're turning blue. That's just how excited that I was. Now, I was thinking, wow, if this is my reaction to this Colosseum, I'm going to be blown away by seeing the fountain. So I convinced my parents to break away from the tour group, and we're trying to find this mountain, I mean, this fountain. And now we have no idea where it is, and we don't have a map, so we asked the locals for help. Now, bless their hearts, they tried so hard to help us, but the language barrier was kind of an issue, so they just gave us, like, gestures, like, oh, go, go straight, or go right, or go left. Honestly, by the second, like, right or left, we were so confused. So we just thanked them for all their time, and we went on. We got lost, obviously. We walked, like, 14 miles that day, just, like, going around in circles, but we did a lot of sightseeing, so it was, it was really interesting. So by this time, it's getting darker, and we're really hungry because we haven't eaten anything in a while. So we go to a restaurant, and as I sit down and see this menu, I see pasta. And I'm like, I'm having this pasta. I am so excited because who, who wouldn't go to Italy and not have pasta? Like, that just doesn't make sense. So my waiter brings my bowl of pasta, and I'm so ready to just take a bite. And they're my parents waiting in anticipation to see my reaction. And I take that first bite of pasta. And I am very disappointed at how different it tastes from American pasta. It's just, you can't even compare American pasta and Italian pasta. They're just so, so different. So I finish my food. And I'm already, like, literally waiting there in anticipation, like, shaking in my chair, like, come on, please, hurry up. But my parents are just taking their sweet, sweet time. And it's just bothering me a little bit too much. So just as we're about to finish eating, uh, there's some musicians come by with the guitar and their other instruments and whatnot. And I can see my dad at the corner of my eye. He looks up at them, and I already know what's going to happen. And he says, hello, do you guys know any Spanish songs? And they said, apparently, of course they did. They knew. So I sat there for like another for like five or six songs, hearing my dad and the musicians all sing in Spanish. And I'm just there like, come on, can we please, please just go to see this fountain? Finally, my mom gives him a look, and he knows that we should get going. So we, before we get going, we ask the waiter, Hey, do you know how to get to the Fountain of Trevi? By some miracle, he knows how to speak English almost perfectly, and his restaurant has maps. So he plots everything down, all the, court, like all the corners, directions, how to get there. And we're on our way, and we're just following all the directions. And then I see that sign. That sign that says Fountain of Trevi, around this corner. And I am so excited that I leave my parents in the dust and I jog all the way around this corner. And as I see this fountain for the very first time, my jaw drops and I have never in my life been more defeated than I have in this moment. Because that fountain is fenced off and it's covered so you, to the point where you cannot see anything. And I walk in disbelief up to that fence trying to see through any cracks, anything, nothing. I can't see a single thing. And above there's a sign saying, Fountain de Trevi, under construction. And I am just so upset, it's so sad, and I can just not believe what I am feeling. And my parents just crowd around me and just let me alone in silence, but they're like reassuring me. So eventually, I have to leave because I'm like a mess right there, just because that's the one thing that I wanted to see so badly. So we walk back to the hotel, and I'm sad, but we keep sightseeing, and, I, and I, we also have gelato, which is nice as well. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it, just, it was really sad for me. And also, yeah, so it was just pretty hard, and it wasn't until I was about to sleep that night where I realized, why am I so upset? I'm in Rome for crying out loud. I'm traveling. I should be so happy and so excited. So that night, I went to bed so peacefully, awaiting my adventure to begin the very next day. Thank you.